Can you hear me now? Well, apparently everybody could. Do you think Snowden's actions were worth that risk? Well, you know, to say that he couldn't harm somebody, uh, you know, with what he did, um, like he could, uh, absolutely he could have. Um, but I think to cast him out to, uh, to make him invalid in society uh, simply because he has scissors for hands, I mean, that's, that's so strange because, I mean, people didn't get scared until he started uh, sculpting shrubs into dinosaur shapes and whatnot. Some people say it's hypocritical that Snowden has asylum in Russia. Russia has a, a lot of human rights violations. Well, yeah, casting him out is just completely wrong. Um, we're, we're treating him like an animal, like a, uh, somebody who should be quarantined and put away. Uh, just because he was created on top of a mountain by Vincent Price and uh, incomplete with scissors for hands and no heart, uh, Edward Scissorhands is a complete hero to me. But what about the choice that he made to live in a country like Russia? I mean, where else is he going to go? You know, uh, we cast him out. Like, we, uh, we got scared when he poked a hole in a waterbed with his scissor finger. Like, that was uh, just unreasonable of us. Well, John, I appreciate you giving us your opinion. Thank you. No, thanks. My attention was recently drawn to these statues, which were put up in Berlin in May this year. The statues pay homage to the three supposed whistleblowers, Julian Assange, Edward Snowden and Bradley Manning. Now if you believe these chaps are real whistleblowers, then I suggest you go and do a bit more homework. Now in the run-up to 9-11, CIA asset Osama bin Laden was on the CIA's most wanted list. This is because the public's minds were being prepared to accept who did 9-11 in advance of the event. As pointed out by Bill Cooper, a guy from CNN just waltzes into Osama bin Laden's cave and interviews him. The point being, if a news reporter knows where to find Osama bin Laden, how come he has not been caught by the CIA? Supposedly, a CNN reporter found Osama bin Laden, took a television camera crew with him, went into Osama bin Laden's hideout, interviewed him and his top leadership, his top lieutenants and colonels and generals in their hideout. Now, don't you think that's kind of strange, folks? You see, because the largest intelligence apparatus in the world, with the biggest budget in the history of the world, has been looking for Osama bin Laden for years and years and years, and can't find him. Some doofus jerk-off reporter with a camera crew bosses right into his hideout and interviews him. Now that tells us two things. Either everyone in the intelligence community and all of the intelligence agencies of the United States government are blithering idiots and incompetent fools, including the entire apparatus of the FBI and all of their personnel, are they lying to us? They're not looking for him at all. This is very reminiscent to me of Ed Snowden's situation, who was supposedly living in temporary asylum in Russia to evade capture by the Americans, who supposedly want to arrest him for espionage charges. If you believe that, you really will believe anything. How is it possible for a British comedian to find Ed Snowden in Russia and interview him? Don't you think the CIA would have found him first, even if he is in Russia? Do you really think the Russian government is protecting Snowden? It is all theatre, and of course the Russians are compliant with the script. As Lenin once said, the best way to control the opposition is to lead it ourselves. And that is exactly what the CIA are doing with Assange and Snowden. They are not whistleblowers, they are actors. Julian Assange has actually stated that there was no conspiracy involved in 9-11. You heard that right, folks. No conspiracy was 9-11. If you ever visit Berlin, please make sure you take a dog with you so you can let it piss on these statues. They are a joke. Assange was even given a TV show on the disinformation news channel Russia Today, which is now a cesspit of half-truths and diversion, clearly being made by the West for the West. 
As far as I am aware, Assange is not wanted by the US government at all, but the media does everything to make you think he is in order to raise his profile, and also uses actors holding up CIA posters to fool people into thinking this is a real issue. Now, speaking of subversive fake heroes and role models, and of 9-11, Cox. <coughs> If you see Brian Cox, uh, please ask him if he has looked at the information he was given earlier this year, uh, which was information about the most important book written this century, Where Did the Towers Go?, by former professor of engineering mechanics, Dr. Judy Wood. And here is a photograph of his office in Manchester, uh, which proves he has been informed.